Hello, everyone. My name is Dan Simons. I'm a functional consultant with Sitecore, and I would just like to say thank you for attending today's webinar on the digitalization for your rental business through the use of Sitecore Rentals customer portal. So on today's agenda, the first thing we're going to talk about is just about Sitecore, uh, some of our customers and successful implementations we've had, as well as talking about the Sitecore Rental customer portal itself. And then we'll actually go ahead and jump into the customer portal and demonstrate different functionalities to you within the portal. And so just a little bit about Sitecore. Uh, we started, we were founded over 20 years ago. Uh, we started as a SAP shop and then quickly became involved with Microsoft and have become a gold partner. And most of our business today is done through ERP implementations, either with Microsoft AX or D365. Uh, we are headquartered in Göttingen, Germany with over 600 employees. Uh, we also have locations globally with 13 locations in six different countries, including in North America's, uh, in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and also in Canada, as well as in Asia Pacific, in China and Singapore. And so here you can see some of the different Sitecore rental customers we've had, some of our successful implementations. Uh, so we have, we have had implementations uh, with companies in different industries from trailer, trailer rental leasing to healthcare to scaffolding, construction, uh, form works, as well as welder rentals. Uh, so we have a large variety of customers in different industries, and we feel that any different any uh, business case you throw at us, uh, we feel that we can handle it all through our experiences from the past implementations. So now I want to talk a little bit about the Sitecore Rental Customer Portal. Uh, it's based on Microsoft Power Apps portals, and the functionality that's already available uh, within the portal is that we are able to view rental projects, view any rental orders, view rental stock, so anything that we have out on rent, and then also view delivery notes and invoices, and we're able to download and print those PDFs. And we also have interaction between the customer and rental company where we're able to ex request to extend or shorten rental periods of uh, rental stock and also request log offs of rental stock. So now for our demonstration today, what we're going to show is we're going to begin in the customer portal and view the rental stock and our invoice in the rent in the customer portal and then we'll go ahead and request a log off of the rental stock and then we will jump in with our user in the d365 system itself and approve the request of the log off from the customer so now let's go ahead and actually jump into the system and so here you can see our cycle rental customer portal our home page as you can see, I am signed in right now as my user, John Doe, with a company for this scenario, Smith Steel. And so on the homepage here, you can see different uh, items that we can click into, including rental projects, rental orders, rental stock, delivery notes, invoices, and rental stock requests. So the first thing we're going to do is go into <laughs> rental orders. And and in our rental orders here, uh, we'll be able to see a list of all of our sales orders related to Smith Steel. And we can see different information here, such as the rent from until dates, uh, our pricing rate, daily pricing. Uh, we can see the status that our orders are in, as well as the currency and payment terms for our sales orders. We can also go from here and straight from our sales orders, we're able to jump into order invoices, order lines, rental stock, delivery notes, and look at further details related to the sales order. So let's go ahead and actually look at invoices related to the sales order. And so here we can see an invoice. So we can see the total related to it and also the currency, the invoice date, and we're able to actually download this as well. 
So it takes us this system a second. It'll download very quickly. And then we're able to go ahead and open up a PDF of this invoice. And here we can see the out of the box uh, design for our invoice here. And so jumping back then into the system, uh, let's go take a look at our rental stock. So back here on our home screen, we can jump into our rental stock and see everything that we currently have out on rent. So here you can see we have three different trailers out on rent. We can see the serial number related to them, the planned rent from dates, and we're able to go ahead and uh, jump in and take a look at this further. So what we're going to do now is go ahead and actually create a rental stock request. Uh, and for this scenario, we're going to go ahead and request a log off, where as the customer here, Smith Steel, we want to go ahead and uh, record a log off where we plan to return the equipment and uh, would like to end the billing period for our equipment. So we'll create a record here and we'll change this from extending and shortening the rental period to logging off. And we'll select our date for the log off to be next Friday. And we can leave a comment here. Please record this log off and then submit it. So now you can see it's now a rental stock request here in our customer portal, and we're able to go ahead and actually take a look at this then in the D365 system. So now we'll switch roles and the customer has requested a log off to us and now it's up to us to go ahead and actually approve or reject of this. So down in our rental module, we can go and navigate to customer requests regarding rental stock. And so here we can see all of our different requests, whether it be a log off or a request to extend or shorten the rental periods. And we can go down and look at the information um, for the log off that we just recorded in the customer portal. So now we're able to go ahead and review this and decide whether or not we want to approve or reject at the top. We're going to go ahead and approve. We can leave a, a comment as well, and we can click OK to approve this request. And after we approve this request, it will then go ahead and be updated then in the customer portal as well that the customer can see that the log off has been approved. And so that's really it for our new functionality that we have in the customer portal. Uh, at this time, if anyone has any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, and if you have any questions later on, here are your contacts that you can contact um, with any further questions in regards to the customer portal or D365. Uh, Larry Miller and myself in North America, and then in Europe and the rest of the world, uh, Jörg Luthke. So at this time, I just want to thank everyone for attending today's webinar. And I really appreciate you all for being here.